Good day, everyone. Professor Maple here. We're back on Maple's World in the Nether. Well, I guess the Under Maple's World is technically a, this, if it's if this is the Underworld. Anyway, we're back at the at the at the Blaze Farm here. Uh, I did try. It was suggested in the comments of last episode that we try some vines, and I even tried some string with it to keep the vines from going all over the place. Um, but um, so that would prevent entity cramming from being a thing so I could AFK here without having to intervene as often but I found that um, and we can simulate it I think by hitting one of these guys if if we just do this like every once in a while one of them would float up and then um, basically clog the tube so that it would keep the other blazes from falling down in here and that didn't happen unless you hit them without the vines so i think i think it, it, in order to keep things from backing up we'll just not put the vines in i don't know if it's just the way i have this configured and it's not working with vines or or what but now we do have a lovely shulker box full of fuel is it the fuel box yes good okay so that can come with us uh, and now we, we can go on and uh, get ready to get our copper good to go for the build ahead I don't remember if I did this on street on on video here but this tunnel is complete now and it's got a nice little hanging sign above it at the entrance here so you can so you know when you're coming down the nether tunnel that it's the blaze farm um, I think I think it looks all right and there's nothing down here other than a few shulker boxes of supplies for when I eventually expand this tunnel. Uh, or if I expand this tunnel, I don't know if I'll need to. I don't spend too much time in this end of the nether hub, but it's not too, f it's only a couple rockets away from, from the base here. And uh, yeah, we've, we've got other things that we can get, get onto here. Also, Sorry for being so long away. Um, I was going to kind of just take a month to, to make this video. And then uh, then I got sick. So that didn't work out. But yeah, here we are in the base. I also don't know if I've shown this, but we have a the, the, the nether hexes are essentially complete now. We've got our, our crimson hex. We've got our, our warped hex. We've got our, our basalt delta hex. These are all lovely, uh, but we need to go down over here where our fuel will be used for smelting things. But I think I think we've got, where is it here? Yeah, we've got lots and lots of copper. In fact, I have to craft some more of it. <laughs> But yeah, we have the fuel box it can it can probably I'll put it in the ender chest. But otherwise, it can go here, and uh, all this copper will come with us. I may I may have to craft it. I'm still a little under the weather, so if, if my voice is a little gravelly, that's why. And yeah, I should have crafted this first. That would have been smart. Foresight. Better than five sight, um, but yeah, we can we can go back up to the top of the base and get building on our whoop, tower, our castle for the castle hex.
So there's a, there's the base of our tower. I say the base like like that's the the height of the tower. Uh, but it it currently looks pretty bland. So we're going to decorate it a little bit. We're going to make it look a little nicer. Maybe not that much nicer. Um, just ba based on the footprint that we have to work with. Um, and maybe I'll come back to it and and make it look better later. But uh, for now, we've got a uh, we've got our copper roof oxidizing. I maybe made too much copper, and um, I made definitely made too many stairs uh, f for the roof here. Like like look at all these stairs. I'm gonna have to find other things to to make out of copper stairs now. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. But yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go in here and actually take some of some bits out, add some more bits on, and as we do that, the roofs are going to oxidize on their own. I'm not really, I, I as much as people kind of have popularized like setting out your copper in a field and letting it oxidize before you build with it. Uh, I don't, I don't. <laughs> Maybe I don't know. Like the the amount of patience you need is maybe similar. Although I guess it's all bunched together, so this will take longer to oxidize. But like at the same time, I I don't know. I I don't I don't have the the patience to like put it all in a field and it's all four blocks apart and and wait for it to oxidize and then pick it back up again and then build with craft and build with it. I, d I just want to build with it and move on. So it's not that I have more patience. It's just my patience is um, di displaced differently, I guess, is kind of, kind of wh where I'm going with this. Anyway, let's, let's get some, some building going on here. Let's, uh, let's see, we want this to be uh, ba -do -ba -do. So with six blocks and then the bottom of that starts. So two, three, four, five, six. So there in line with that bottom, sca that top scaffolding there, which is that block. We want to put some stairs upside down. And I forget how this goes exactly because it's been so long since I've designed this. Uh, and now I'm building it now, and it's not going to quite be the same. But that's fine. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to do this this way. We're going to try to grab these as they fall, and I'll pick that one up after. Um, let's see. I think it's... I think it's uh, let's see. It's six blocks tall. So that means there's got to be... Probably a stair here. Did I place that right? I did not place that right. Um, but if I do this, and then this, and then this, then I've placed it right. Okay. And we can just scoop this around here like that. And that is... bottom of our little balcony we can we can kind of just take out the wall here reclaim some some blocks these these precious precious diorite blocks <laughs> um, and then we can put some walls in right here these will be about two blocks as well and then the, the roof will be two so that that makes it six if my math is right, which it, I'm pretty sure it is. I'm not usually that bad at simple math, but who knows. Um, pop some, some of these in here. And yeah, so I've, I've been away for a little bit. Uh, part of it is the release of Pikmin 4. I've just been obsessed with Pikmin 4 for a while. I'm going to edit this part in. Um, yeah, spoiler alert for Pikmin 4. If, if you, if you don't want to hear the spoiler then uh then just skip ahead to uh the timestamp i put on the screen here um 
yeah anyway or obsessed i don't know I, like i was playing a lot for a while and then i stopped playing as much but i'm still playing and i've finally rolled credits the other day and that uh, darn louie he is uh, still on the planet and causing trouble and hopefully not going to try and kill me yet again because that guy he's trouble um so that's a thing been playing pikmin 4 and then i got sick and that's why my voice is potentially still kind of weird i don't know i haven't noticed anything but uh that's that's just to me this is how i sound normally um but uh you might notice your mileage may vary i'm not sure um i, I find my voice is a maybe a little deeper when i'm sick but anyway so we've got we've got that little balcony in we're gonna add another one over here i won't show that on camera because uh it's the same thing but what i will show on camera is we're gonna add some oh i need more stairs for this i need more diorite stairs um we're gonna make some we're gonna make some just a stack of polished diorite stairs and this this I'll also be repeating on the other side. But basically, all I want to do is I remember this being wider for some reason, but I guess I'm wrong. So we're gonna we're gonna do some of this with the stairs that way, and then we're gonna do some of this and some of that and that just adds a bit of like structure to it the you get the i'm using sort of a connected polished stones texture pack so the the diorite is all polished diorite and it's all connected because of the texture pack except for the stairs which get a little bit of an outline which kind of connotate bricks a bit more um which is neat. But then we're also going to do something like that up here. But instead of being the, the regular side of the stairs, if we can reach, which I think we can. Yeah. We're going to do this. We're going to do the, the opposite with the diorite. If I put more in my offhand... That would help. Nope, couldn't reach it. Tried to get that that uh, block hanging there, and it just it's just too high. But I do have scaffolding, so I can I can just scaffold up to it. I said up to it. There we go. <clears throat> I swear I can I can I can I can play this game. I, I, I know I can, um, but sometimes it's not super evident. So yeah, we've got that, and we can we can even if we wanted to, we could we could alternate these. I don't think uh, actually let's experiment with that. If we go like that, that oh yeah, that puts holes in it. Never mind. We're gonna just do this then. We're just gonna keep it how it was, and I'll pick up these blocks. And I will do the same thing on the oppo side. And there it is, everyone. We've got our we've got our little balconies on the side. We've got our bricks, which I don't know. Everything seems about the same height, so I might play with the little bricky bit, the little stairs things a little bit, and maybe raise them up a little higher or something. But otherwise, I'm happy with the exterior of the 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 tower. I guess it's it's not really a castle until it's got the 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 outer wall and the inner wall the keep um so i guess i guess overall it's a castle now um but yeah we've got i've i've started the inside a little bit here uh just putting in a stair and a floor nothing fancy nothing crazy um and again we get the the inside texture of the 
of the stairs kind of adding a little something to the walls here which is nice um we, we've got some uh, copper oxidizing already that's pretty neat i only placed that like a few minutes ago so that's that's a good sign uh hopefully the rest comes along with it pretty soon although it looks pretty good as 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 is I, I I think it'll look better and it'll match the the prismarine ocean hexes a bit more once once all the the copper turns green and and oxidizes and that that'll be neat we'll kind of maybe hopefully see that over the course of a video or two or five or or eight or whatever it is um but yeah that's that's that I think I think now I'm gonna do some landscaping terraforming decorating on the outside here and I'm in the meantime I'm gonna see if I can maybe figure out what I want to do inside because that that I don't know yet and now it's time for a double session of have I eaten one of those uh, yeah, so we have we didn't do this last episode. That's why it's a double session. Um, for those of you who don't know, we go into I've got it bound to Q, but I think it's L by default. Into the advancements, we go down to husbandry. We go to the, uh, the ba a balanced diet. We have eaten thirty eight of the forty things you can possibly eat in Minecraft, and I don't know what those other two things are. So it's it's got it's got to be one of these. Um, I'm going to bet I've eaten an apple before. Um, but some of these I'm not as sh certain about. Um, but anyway, the goal is to, is to reach 40 things by the end of Maple's World. Um, ooh, that's a scary thought. Ending Maple's World. I, I want to keep going. And we're going to try the kelp today. We're going to eat some dried kelp. Session number one, dried kelp. Have I eaten one of those? Survey says, yes, I've eaten dried kelp. Okay, so that that's that's a thing we 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 can cross off the list. There, we don't need that anymore. Um, what else may I not have eaten? I think I'm certain I had a chicken cooker early in the season, back when this was just a, a pit and another portal and a little enchanting station, and that was about it. I'm going to say that one of the muttons or one of the rabbits. Hmm. Oh, I don't eat a lot of pork either. But I feel like I would have eaten that at some point. But I'm going to say raw mutton. I have probably not eaten one of those. Let's see. Have I eaten raw mutton? Yes, I have eaten raw mutton. Okay, so I have eaten one of those. You know what? We're going to go for a third one. Why not? Where's the box? Where's the... <laughs> Give me that box. Uh, I'm gonna say let's eliminate the two muttons in a row here. Let, let's let's say I haven't eaten cooked mutton. Have I eaten one of those? Survey says. Oh, I've eaten I've eaten cooked mutton as well. Okay, well that's all for that for today. Dried kelp, cooked mutton, raw mutton, I have eaten one of those. And here we are, here is our lovely finished tower. Now we're going to go on uh, with the outside first here with all these changes. We've got some bushes, we've got bone milled grass, and we've still got the lichen for lighting. This front area I'm going to have to fix another episode. Um, I want to get another outer, outer hex uh, in or out down uh before before i do the landscaping here but this 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 place definitely needs some 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 love uh to be a proper front entrance to the base um 
but here we go here we got these lovely torch sconces the classic item frame with the anvil and the torches and whatnot and we've got our copper still oxidizing that's great i switched the 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 outer floor the inner floor the the floor within the outer wall uh to deep slate and basalt because uh, it's got more of a cobblestone feel than even actual cobblestone in Minecraft does. Uh, at least from my experience, like when I've been to Europe, uh, the the stone is a bit more of this color than in cobblestones in cities and stuff than it is the actual like the light, light gray cobblestone stuff. So we've got that. We've got some hay bales. We've got some armor stands with armor on them. We've got more wall sconces all all around the building here. Uh, I think it's turned out pretty good so far. Um, if we look up, actually, we, we could see this better from where we were a moment ago. But just to, just up here, we've got, I've, I've done a bit more of the designs and varying the levels here um, on the outside. So that's good. And you can see a sneak preview of the balconies here. We've got some candles. Uh, that kind of continues a little bit within the tower. Um, which also has a nice new floor. It's calcite and regular diorite for the more trodden areas. I think that fits really well. Um, and this kind of changed from being like a castle castle to like a wizard's tower. So I want you to just, your expectations may, may kind of need to be reset a little bit here, but we've got, we've got a little bench with, I might switch some of these flowers out. But we've got more candles. We've got a, a brewing stand because, of course, wizard make potion thing. Um, we've got my favorite flower in the game, the blue orchid. We've got some azalea bushes, which look all right here. But I don't know. It's a little out of place with all the white. I don't know why the blue orchid looks better, but maybe it's because this looks like a darker plant. And it's very well lit in here. I'm not sure, but I might switch that out. We've got some, some like a, a workbench for him and for the wizard. Um, the wizard is me, uh, I guess. Um, we've got some some storage under the stairs here, and going up the stairs, we've got kind of the main enchanting area for the wizard. Not. I'm still going to use my enchanting hex for enchanting like books and tools and stuff. But in like the lore of the world, this is where the wizard does all his magic. And the source of the magic, um, well, some of it comes from this giant amethyst crystal in the, in the ceiling here. It's floating in the tower. How it got here, who knows? Um... Because obviously the tower was here first, and this is too big to come in through a window, so maybe maybe it got magicked in. I think that's that's what happened here. Uh, but we've got that happening. We've got these chiseled bookshelves. I got I've got the Vanilla Tweaks 3D models for those, and that's pretty neat. But uh, for those of you who haven't seen this yet, we've got we can take the books out. We can put them in in a different spot. And it makes a slight sound. I'm not sure if you're if that is getting picked up in the video there, but it makes a it makes a little enchanty noise when when you do that, which is kind of neat. Um, but yeah, we got more of the wall sconces. We got some lecterns to place books on, um, more of the good flower and the and the candles. And the view of the Sniffer Haven over there. Um, we've got that mess of animals uh, that I will address when we do the front or before we do the front area here. That's that's what we're waiting on doing here. Is I need to do like a like a stable hex or something. Uh, not that there's like a stables hex in the settlers, but you know. That's just that's just the thing we have to do. But that's that's the thing. That's 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 the tower. My lovely wizard tower in the castle hacks here. I think it turned out 
well, honestly, a lot better than I was expecting it might turn out at one point or another. Because uh, a lot of the, a lot of the like the, the 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 packed mud and the coarse dirt here and and the cobblestones and the 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 straw and stuff, a lot of that was improvised, and uh, thankfully I'm right at my base, so I could just go back and forth and get all the supplies and stuff. But uh, yeah, that I think I think this turned out great. Um, the tower itself was going to look kind of bland for a while. And so I'm glad just in like the last day or so, I, or last night when I was putting all this together, that we got all the, all the lovely details put in. It was great. Um, but yeah, we're, I think, going to move on to one more thing here. I don't know why I'm going further into the base. I need to actually go uh, this away. And we're going to the Snipper Haven because two things. I've been made aware. Oh, and now it's raining, of course. But I don't I don't remember whose video it was I was watching, but in someone's video, it might have been Exumavoid. Um it was definitely one of the hermits. But they had mentioned that you need like a, a 20 block square area or more before the snippers will just or maybe it was wax frost I don't remember but I was watching someone and they mentioned you need a, a larger area than this to well not they were specifically referencing this area but they were specifying that it's got to be at least 20 blocks or more than 20 blocks before the snippers will just keep Splooting is, I guess, the term for when they dig up stuff. Or maybe it was pixel rifts. I was watching someone. Um, but anyway. Um, yeah, so I'll have to expand this air, this hopper area out. Probably this way a little bit on either side. Um, in, in a bit. But uh, in the meantime, we, we are also here to... Uh, do some torch flower stuff because and I'm actually gonna bring the pitcher pods while I've got access to them too because I want to I want to plant some of those as well actually we'll just grab all of them but uh, in the meantime I uh, we've got some more advancements to look at here we've already looked in the husbandry tab but we've been looking at the balanced diet now uh, let's see we've got where is it? Is it this one? Two by two. Breed all the animals. We've got eight of twenty-four. That's a that's a lot of animals to not have breeded. I don't know if nice and relaxing have any intentions of of you know being together for a while here. But uh, we're just going to make sure that they they have a reason to hang out. Oh, I heard a plop. There should be an egg here. Oh wait, no, it'll be in here. It'll be in here because they bred over the yeah. So we've got a snipper egg now, so that's cool. Uh, so we we can plant that if we want, but I don't think we will, or I I won't yet, because there's not a whole lot of room for snippers in here. I might do that in another in another build where I need like somewhat something walking around to like animate the build a little bit more. Let me get rid of this rain. Okay, where do I want to do this? Where do I want to do this? We want to do this down in the farming hex, I think. Down at the crop circle, that seems to make the most sense. We'll do this down here. Okay, cool. Maybe in the back somewhere. Uh, maybe not. Maybe in the back somewhere on this side. We could maybe do that back here. Okay, so... Yeah, we'll do that here. Okay, cool. So we'll, we'll, we'll get rid of some of this stuff here. And I'm going to just, uh, I'm going to just hoe some of this land, till some of the soil, and hope this water hydrates it. I hope it's close enough. I, I, I think it 
can be different heights and still hydrate it. I'm hoping. But anyway, we're gonna. Oh, oh, planting the past. We've. Oh yeah, it's hydrating. Okay. We've got we've got some some torch flower seeds to plant. We've got some pitcher pods we can plant. I think these would be a great addition to the. Oh yeah, the turnip things. Right. I forgot about that. Um, pitcher pod is a two tall plant. Um, and it has these little like turnip things that that uh, start off. Uh, what am I looking for? I want the other bone box for the meal of the bones. Oop! Didn't mean to do that. There, and we'll just grow these torch flowers. Torch flowers have like three stages of growth, which is interesting. Two three four okay and and the the i want to call it the blue orchid but that's not the blue orchid um the pitcher plant has four stages and then we can harvest it with a hoe i think yep okay we can make dye out of that but that's expensive dye why we would do that i don't know but I think, I th yeah, I think I'll just keep this side area as the the elder plant growing area for now until I get like a, I don't know if I'll want the proper place for it. I don't know how much I'll be planting these, these flowers and stuff. Oh, right, the bone box, right. Got to make sure we don't forget that. And pop that away that away and pop this away but I think I think these torch flowers are what we want to swap the those azalea bushes out for I think that's the play here so we've got oh, got the one there Okay, and was there one up here? I don't remember. Uh, no, there was the orchid and that was it. Okay, cool. Mm, I might put one up here too. I think that'd, that'd be cool. And maybe the wizard is experimenting. Wait, 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 that's south, that's north. South facing window gets all the sun, so we'll put this in the south. And actually, just just to show you guys, because the the pitcher plant is is a too tall flower, it, it doesn't go in the pot just like all the other too tall flowers. So you, yeah, I don't know if you can hear me clicking or not. Um, but yeah, that's a thing. So we'll put the torch flower in there. I love the crazy colors, the the purple with like the the green, and then the the red and the the yellow and the orange in the middle it's just it's just wonderful it's just a crazy plant that looks like it came from you know what if they ever update the jungle i kind of think they should add a bunch of like crazy plants like bromeliads and stuff like that would be cool um just to have like little little things as if the the jungle isn't laggy enough without more like flowers and stuff, but I I think I think it'd be cool if, if they could get some of that stuff in there. Now there is one more thing I want to do before we end the episode today, and it's something that if I don't do it, I'm gonna accidentally not do a thing I want to do, or do a thing I don't want to do rather, and um, I'm gonna have a bad time. So. Uh, if we go down here to this chest right here that I've left in front of me here, I've got this enchanted golden apple we got two episodes ago? I don't think it was last episode. I think it was the episode before that. Um, if I'm not mistaken. Anyway, um, 
I, I'm worried that I'm going to accidentally eat this apple. So what we're going to do instead uh, is is uh, we're going to we're going to craft it into a banner pattern. There we've got the thing. I'm not going to use it this episode. Um, I just wanted to make sure that I that I did that with you guys here. Um, and brought it over to our lovely banner shop. Uh, where is it? Where does it go? It goes in one of these barrels. That's food. This one. Aha! Flower, flower, globe, globe, skull. We can remove one of these flowers and actually, we can, we've got we've got thing room for the thing there. But yeah, we've got we've got that. Really rare banner pattern. I still need a snout batter pattern. Um, so that's a thing. There we go. Okay. Well, um, hopefully I get this outro done before the dumpster goes by. But yeah, anyway, thanks for stopping by. Thanks for watching a whole stack of uh, Maple's World episodes. We're hoping to make another stack in the, in the meantime, of course. Uh, but yeah. Thanks for hanging out. Thanks for your support. Thanks for subscribing and liking and commenting and all that. That's uh, super, super appreciated. And uh, have a good now. Have a good later. And we'll see you next episode for more of whatever the heck we get up to around here. Whatever the heck this is. Goodbye. Goodbye.